Hey, ladies and gentlemen, there's something that I want to share with you, okay? You know, I believe in First or Second Peter, uh, Jesus Christ said that there would be mockers and scoffers. Um, you know, like the Pharisees mock Jesus. Um, the same spirit of Pharisees is apparently running loose, spirit of mockery, mocking the body of Christ, mocking servants uh, that are warning the masses that Jesus Christ is coming. Now, I saw this video that I was very disturbed about. Um, there was this woman named Michelle Bachman, B-A-C-H-M-A-N. Now, I don't know her and I don't promote her as a prophet, but she, God used her to prophesy a message to the masses that um, Jesus Christ is coming soon and the reason why the violence in Israel is increasing is because of the arrival of Jesus Christ, which is soon. Even though we don't know the day nor the hour, Jesus Christ is coming. And I agree with that statement. I mean, Israel is experiencing violence more than ever before. The, the, kind, of is, the kind of violence Israel is experiencing is the worst in history. It's never happened. Israel had three unscheduled blood moons. There's been unscheduled uh, blue moons, unscheduled uh, super moons, a real planetary alignment. You can Google this for yourself and you'll see that that's true. And also, most importantly, seek the most highest counsel first. So she made a statement and um, you can, again, Google the video on uh, YouTube. And I believe, um, you know, there's some videos out there showing Obama actually mocking this lady. Obama's a demon, incarnate, okay, a liar, an arrogant liar. So she made a statement that, again, the reason why the violence in Israel is increasing is because Jesus Christ is coming. And I agree with that. It's true. She also said something about um, the events that, or Obama's policies and events is going to bring about the rapture. Now, she didn't say a date or an hour. She's not setting a date or an hour. She didn't say that the rapture was going to be tomorrow or the next day. What she's saying is, you know, I believe God was using her to speak in a parable that what Obama's doing, all of these crazy policies he's making, is Bible prophecy and it is um, footprints leading to the rapture. Nobody knows when the rapture is going to happen. Nobody knows the day nor the hour. But the events, you know, these decisions he's making is, bi is, biblically, is bibli biblically prophetic and will bring about the rapture in Jesus Christ's own timing. I believe that it's footprints to the rapture. I believe that. I don't know when the rapture is going to happen, but I believe it's footprints to the rapture and that's what she was saying so he makes this sick sinister disgusting evil video saying that um he was basically mocking her obama said this um saying uh weird stuff about how she prophesied that obama's events is going to bring about the rapture and um he said, well, what's the secret? He said some weird stuff that, um, something about, well, he's going to be, he's going to be so old. He's going to be, he says something about, Obama says something about, he's going to be so old that Netanyahu is going to plan his funeral and, um, that she's not going to look a day younger and what's her secret to looking young and staying young, you know? Or something like that. Something that he said that, you know, he's going to get old. Netanyahu's going to plan his funeral. Or Je John McBain, something like that. And that she's not going to grow a day older and what's her secret. You know what the Bible says? That if you are a righteous in Jesus Christ and you, you are conformed to the Lord, to the Holy Spirit, you're going to look very younger for your age. It happened to King Solomon, to David, to all the prophets of old, the righteous ones. So he was mocking that. You know, and um, he was mocking her. You know, this woman was getting persecuted for simply making a statement. But I bet you something. If it was a Muslim saying, well, Judgment Day is coming. Uh, 
Judgment Day is coming, and that their Imam, or whatever they call their Christ, which is a demonic Christ, it's not Jesus Christ who is God, you know that, it's not Jesus Christ that's in the Bible, their Christ, their false Christ is Satan, okay? You know, if there was a Muslim prophesying that their Christ is coming, well, you know, Obama wouldn't be mocking that Muslim. But he's mocking Miss Bachman because she's a Christian. That's why he's mocking her. See, that proves right there of his war, his secret war against Christianity. He's waging war against the saints right now. You know, it just hasn't intensified yet, but it's going to get to that point. And I'm not saying that Obama's the Antichrist because I don't believe he is. This is my opinion. But you have lots of nations waging wars against Christianity. And th this video Obama made on YouTube that went viral just proves his hate for Jesus Christ and his hate for Christianity. Okay? I mean, this is a president that supports homosexuals. This is a president that supports abortion. I mean, this president is one that calls good evil and evil good. He supports a guy going into a female bathroom to use it. That they can go whatever bathroom that they want, whatever locker room that they want. He supports a, a guy that can claim that they're a girl one day and a guy the next and same thing for a female. I mean, he's got crazy satanic, satanic ideologies, a crazy value system. It's immoral. You know, and, and the way that he criticized her, you know, I'm here to tell Obama that his words meant nothing, that they're just words, that he's just a mocker and a scoffer and, and a demon at heart. Because he is criticizing a message that is true. Because I believe that God used that woman to tell the masses about his arrival, and it's going to be soon. Now, when Jesus Christ comes back and and uh, when you see all of these, when Jesus Christ comes back, I want to see Obama laughing then. You know, interesting statement Ms. Bachman made was that, uh, and I made this statement to you guys before. Uh, she said that, that means that she's noticing these things happening. And I don't trust anyone, but I was just taken aback when she, when she said this, okay? She said that Bible prophecy is fulfilling at an astronomical rate, that she's noticing Bible prophecy fulfilling fast, speeding up, like some kind of clock. I'm paraphrasing here. But it's speeding up like, like if a clock is timing down to the final hour. She acknowledged that we are in the final hour, and she notices that many events are happening so fast and all at once, and it's happening quickly, more fast every day. Now, I went into my prayer closet to Jesus Christ, and Jesus said that he used her to warn the masses, and that not only is Bible prophecy speeding up, you know, all the, all the events that are happening are biblically prophetic. The Most High said that those events are going to speed up every second. They're going to happen fast, back to back to back to back to back. The Israelite the violence in Israel is going to increase 70 fold, okay? The rumors of wars and with perplexity are going to increase. The tensions are going to increase. The war, the military drills, war is going to increase. I mean, by, the Bible prophecy also talks about. Earthquakes in diverse places, lands in stress. That's happening now, okay? That there's going to be rumors of wars. There's going to be nation rising up against nation. That's happening now. Look at China and the United States. They're rising up against each other. China's advancing the military. Russia's rising up against the United States, okay? Iran's rising up against the United States. Iran's rising up against Israel. That's happening now. This is the hour. Can Obama explain why there was a double eclipse? Double solar eclipse? Can he explain why there was a double rainbow? No. Can he explain the unscheduled blood moons and Jesus Christ told me that there's more to come? No, he can't explain that. Can he explain the super moons and the blue moon? No. 
Can he explain the rare planetary alignment? No. Can he explain why the oceans are turning blood red, like in the book of Exodus? No. Can he explain the plague of frogs that have been seen in India and worldwide? No. Locusts. Beetles. Can he explain that? There was a plague of um, rats in Iran. No. In India? No. Can he explain why large species of animals are dying off by the thousands, tens of thousands? No. He can't explain that. He's going to come up with some ridiculous theory, but this brain-dead president, God forgive me for saying this, he can't explain it. Not even NASA can, not even scientists can. He can't explain that. They don't understand why these things are happening. Well, I'm here to tell you it's Bible prophecy, Hosea prophecy. It's prophesied in the book of Revelation. It's prophesied everywhere. He can't explain why the solar activity in the sun is heating up. That's never happened before in history. He can't explain why there's a big black coronal hole in the sun that normally takes four months to form, but this latest one is bigger than the last that we had, and it formed overnight. This president, let me tell you something, guys. This president is a demon. He doesn't care about Christians. He doesn't care if Christians rot, okay? Do not trust him. He is a tool of Satan. He is an arrogant, prideful scumbag. Forgive the expression. I'm not cursing. I'm just telling you like it is. The way he mocked this woman was absolutely disgusting. But I'm here to tell him his words mean nothing. And when he sees the following events that are going to hit this nation, especially him, he's going to know that God means business. I don't know what these those events are, ladies and gentlemen. I was just told by the Lord, by the Lord, there's going to be a series of more events that is going to involve the economy, the United States being in escalated tensions with other nations and war, and droughts, famine, pestilence, you name it. This country, let me tell you something. They're not telling you people that we are at war already. They're not telling you people that those two missiles, those weren't test fires. Those were actual missiles being fired at an enemy nation. China supposedly tested their missiles. It's not a test. Those are actual missiles. We are a war, ladies and gentlemen. Why do you, you know, open your eyes. These military drills going on. United States adding thousands of troops where Ukraine is into Syria and they're not telling you that? I asked Jesus about this and I'm told this. And I told y'all that the media tried to say that, oh, China had three warships off the coast of Alaska. They had five. It's a non-mainstream media news. And I told y'all before that and non-mainstream media news confirmed that. Also, that Russia had, they, the mainstream media news tried to say Russia had one ship. It was three, I told you all that. Non-mainstream media news reported on that. I just wanted to share this with you because this is the hour that we're living in. You got mockers and you got scoffers rising big time. Look, keep doing the will of the Lord. Don't let these mocking, scoffing demons get to you. You know, because what they say means nothing. And I'm here to tell Obama what he said about that woman means absolutely nothing. And if she's watching this video, my advice is to just dust yourself off and keep going. Don't let what that big-eared scumbag says get to you. Don't give my terminology. But I was full of righteous anger when I saw that video. You know, and here's another thing I wanted to tell y'all, okay? Obama knows that Jesus is coming and that the rapture is going to happen. He doesn't tell y'all anything. The elites know it too. The elites know the rapture is coming, war is coming, and that Jesus Christ is coming. 
They're not going to tell you that. They worship the devil. They know if the Antichrist is coming, which the Antichrist is, Jesus Christ is coming. So, look, you guys, take this to the Lord in prayer and ask if what I tell you is true. But from what I'm being told, I have to pass on to y'all that events are going to speed up and you are going to notice it. And you're going to play this video back and you're going to be like she was right. Events are speeding up at an unbelievable rate. This is Bible prophecy, ladies and gentlemen. God's people are supposed to prepare themselves. And God will be your light. He will light your way. When stuff hits the fan, you will know what to do. The Holy Spirit will lead you. Remember, the Lord delivered the Israelites in, in the book of Exodus. He used Moses. Okay? He used Moses to deliver the Israelites. All I can tell you is to just be ready, be prepared for whatever's to come. And don't let anybody play with your salvation. Don't play games with your own salvation. Don't listen to demons like Obama. He's a liar. You know he's of his father, the devil. He's a liar. He's a poisonous snake. He's a leech. Okay? He's a viper. He's, he's worse than a viper. So... You know, I'm going to end this broadcast here. I just wanted to share this with you because I just found this, like, ironic. You know, he this, this president knows <laughs> that we are in the end times. He knows it. But he doesn't tell the public that. He's a Muslim, ladies and gentlemen. He hates Jesus Christ because he knows Jesus is coming. He knows that. I'm here to tell him that Jesus is going to destroy him and all Muslims, not just Muslims, all false gods, all idols. Jesus Christ is going to destroy. Just telling you that if you haven't blasphemed God, you better repent and you better come to Jesus and acknowledge him as your Lord and Savior. It's your choice. If you don't, you will be destroyed with the others. I'm just telling you. That's what I was told. I'm passing it on to you. Go to Jesus. Ask him if what I tell you is true. Don't take what I say at face value. It's not good, ladies and gentlemen. Look at the hour we're living in. Keep your eyes open. Keep looking up for Christ.